Hey, welcome back to Dumb Brain. Uh, a little while ago, we made some copper nitrate by reacting copper, pure metal, uh, with nitric acid. Turn the camera up a little bit. There we go. Oh. And then we tried to dry it out by pouring it onto these little sheets of, uh, full, uh, what are they called? Paper oh, towel. Paper That's towel, yeah. yeah. We poured it onto some paper towel and let the solution just go through the whole thing and tried to let it dry out. And uh, it kind of made this dyed little material here. We have some hanging over there to see if we can get it completely dry. It hasn't yet, so it burns. It uh, it hasn't completely dried yet. Yeah, it burns so, a little bit wet. So we're gonna try and burn it and see if uh, it produces a green flame and if it burns by itself well. We first performed an open flame test. This rapidly released copper ions from their nitrate bonds, which oxidized in the high temperature environment, giving off a green patina hue. Next we tried the sample on a hot plate. Notably, the sample when brought towards the heat source, even without full contact, would burn and would continue to do so even without continual heating. When prompted in a similar manner, regular paper towels would not continue to smolder and would only burn fully when a sufficient portion of the paper towel was exposed to direct flame. When confined inside a dry paper towel, the green flame could be sustained for longer. In this experiment, we actually decided to use our microwave oven transformer to see if we could create some copper ionized arcs, which would be green, and it did work surprisingly well. And we also got some regular arcs that were not green, just for reference. Why did you do that? You knocked it over. 